just want to be Rose Manifeo and I'm not. Baked beans. I'm not very good at a bogey impression. I have got water everywhere all over my mic. Oh golly. Okay. This podcast really hits your self-esteem, yeah? Are the others feeling like that? I think I really need uh, an Aaron Sorkin style speech. Man, you know it's test master. How exciting. Yes, I've been looking forward to one of these. Hello and welcome back to No Format Required Taskmaster Part 3, Episode 2. Part 3? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Part 3, Episode episode 2 of Part 3. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. if we yeah, want to do that. that. Right. As you heard in the last episode, we've got no idea how we're playing this, really. No, exactly. And as you've heard from the previous uh, load anyway, we don't even know what we call it. <laughs> change <laughs> just, the name. <laughs> yeah, it does change the name each episode. <laughs> but we're back, and this time we're filled by alcohol. We are. I've uh, treated Mike to a bit of a... It's kind of like a Baylis. It's like a strawberry and cream liqueur. Yeah. Because it's... Uh, yeah, Mike. Did you hear the clinking of... That's the ice in the ice in the thing. Yeah. You're welcome, guys. You're very welcome. Um, so, we left you on a bit of a cliffhanger last week. Because we're bastards. We are bastards. With the, uh, Mark, do you want to explain what the task was? They had to have a conversation. No, they didn't. That's a task that's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> um, they had to perform a famous film scene with at least two distinctly different voice- voices and characters. Um, but the twist being they had to have water in their mouth during the whole time. But if you didn't know uh, that's what the task was, I'd recommend going back and watch, listening to the last episode because there's no point in starting from here, really. No, there is a two-parter. Yeah. So, are we going straight to the scorings? Or should we yeah. end well, this? Should we have a rundown, of, if, remind everyone. Or should we end this now and then do another episode? Oh, I'll come back for episode three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're joking. Um, yes, let's have a have a rundown. So we had uh, Carter performing. Here's Johnny from The Shining. Yeah. We had Fiona doing the "I Love You" scene from Star Wars. We had Sophie doing Titanic, in which they claim that an iceberg's ahead. We had Zoe doing a full rendition of um, Hamilton, "My Shot," and Casey doing two scenes from Shrek very badly. <laughs> Is that mean of me to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, so I'll start with the bottom, as always. Again, two tough ones to choose from the bottom. Um, unfortunately, sorry, Sophie, I'm going to have to go with your Titanic one. Um, I didn't really feel that you were Jack and Rose there. Oh, no. No, they were Jack and Rose, the people in the crow's nest. Yeah. Um, I didn't feel that you were genuinely scared there was a big iceberg coming the acting (laughs) yeah the acting basically um second to last carter i thought you were saying free willy i don't know why but i I didn't i didn't get the here's johnny i probably would now i know what it is but yeah i didn't i didn't get that one um and as always uh, i'm gonna go next for casey um good effort but it started to sound like a western towards the end (laughs) it started (laughs) but but yeah no good effort but Obviously, you did have that thing with only putting a little bit in your water mouth, and then obviously kind of ignored your own advice. Um, oh, tough one. Two tough ones. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'll go first. I am going to go with Fiona. Fiona she did add the, the five points. Yeah, she did, she did add the video aspect. And I know, I suppose, not everybody would assume to have a video because it's a, an audio podcast that nobody's going to see, but um, you I appreciated it. it. I appreciated it. Um, but no, Zoe, good effort with Hamilton. Like especially, the, I would, I would curious to know if you knew the lyrics like, off by heart. No, no thing if you didn't, because I wouldn't know them. Um, but yeah, but still very well done to rap them. I think even if I had the lyrics in front of me, I'd struggle to struggle to say them or to rap them. So no, good effort. Well then, so that's Fiona for five points. Moving on with the first task of this episode, of which there's only two tasks, but you want to hear the first one. Well, that's task four. It's the first team task of the series. Ooh, this is exciting. Have a conversation with your teammate. You must have at least five lines each in the conversation. Most normal sounding conversation wins. You were to go first and you were in the team of two. You are in the team of two and are going second in the conversation. 
You are in the team of three and are going first in the conversation. You are in the team of three and going second. You're going in the team of three and are going last in the conversation. Oh golly. Okay. How exciting. Yes, I've been looking forward to one of these. Let's start thinking. And if I'm last, I'm going to have to assume that I'm just the tail end and they're going to hold it together and I'm just going to nod along type thing. So I guess, well, obviously I get the greeting and I figure I probably need to keep it fairly generic. It's going to have to be the most generic conversation. Do you know what I mean? I hope my teammates have just know what they're doing so I can just fill in the gaps. So it's the first team task that we've done. So in the team of two are Zoe and Sophie. And in the team of three are Carter, Fiona and Casey. Okay. Which team would you like to hear first? Uh, let's go with Zoe and Sophie. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard to know. Oh, it's been so rainy recently, right? Oh, it's been terrible. I just still can't believe it. Oh my gosh, yeah, you yeah, know, you're absolutely right. To be honest, that's a possibility. No way! Okay, that's interesting and maybe a tad disturbing to hear. Ah, oh, I'm really sorry, I've got to go. It was great seeing though. See you around, yeah? Bye! So, what do we do now? So, uh, that went smoothly. <laughs> It's, it sounded like at the end that um, Zoe didn't really want to be chatting anymore <laughs> and then just kind of hung up the phone and just like left Sophie kind of hanging there. Um, but no, good, e- good effort. I, yeah, good effort. Team of three next? No. Okay. I don't want to hear any more. This here, the it, final my... task of the show. No, team of three. Go on then. Carter, Fiona and Casey. <gasps> Hello, everyone. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hi, uh, Fiona here. Who's our third person? Hey everyone! If I could just interrupt you... Oh, no, my mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'm going pretty good. What about you guys? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? Don't mind me, I'm just texting Alex Horn to see what he thinks of that. This is quite weird, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. Have you guys met my cat? Say hi, patatas. <laughs> Gosh, I hope this makes sense. Oh, thank you. That's fantastic. You know, we must do this again sometime. It's been divine. Nice talking with you. Bye. Oh, thanks. All right. Bye, guys. See you again next time. Started off well, then sort of faded a bit in the middle, and then they brought it together right at the end quite well. Yeah. Um, yeah, impressive. Now... There was an idea that I came up with because Casey messaged me saying that this task is impossible after she sent me the task, mm. saying this task is impossible. But if you want a hint as to how I'd do it, pretend you're on the phone and mm. you can't hear the other person oh, the whole okay. time. Yeah, yeah. It's a normal sounding conversation and mm. it'd work. Yeah. Well, good, that's a good way of Or speak a foreign it. language. <laughs> Be like, no español. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, so, yeah, so there's got to be a split. So one team will get a certain amount of points and another team will get another amount of points. So is it... You do can I... do it however you want. Okay. So one um, team can have five, one team can have one. That seems very harsh. One team can have five I think I'm gonna... and three, five I... and four, however you want. I'm going to do five and four because they were both good. Um, I'm going to give my five points to the three, three of them because it sort of was good, then went bad, then went good. Um. The other team was started off kind of good, then sort of got a bit confusing in the middle, and then, yeah, kind of ended bad. But again, obviously, I know it's difficult. To yeah, sometimes you write tasks and you think they're yeah. going to be great, and they don't turn out that way. <laughs> no, I, it, was, it was a good task. It was a good task that I created. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, five points there to Carter, Casey, and Fiona, mm. and four to Zoe and Sophie. Yeah. Right. We've only got one task left, mm-hmm. and it's a live task. And Charlie, it's all on you again. But this time, we're not going to get you to name animals. Oh, okay. I set this task before the unfortunate shambles of the last attempt. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized how participation with Charlie might not be the best. <laughs> no offense to him. Um, I'm just not good at animals. <laughs> no. 
So let's listen to what they have to do. Task five, state your occupation. State your occupation. State your occupation. State your occupation. State your job. No other information given, which makes me think this is a part one of two. But here it is. I am a high school maths teacher. So I don't currently have a job, but I am a student. So student. I am a history graduate who tries to keep her days busy with sending out CVs and applying to jobs while playing with my cat. I am a salesperson. All the information is on the task. <laughs> um, state your occupation. Um, I mean, my job title is head of content, but that doesn't sound like it's a very entrance. <laughs> that seems too easy. In order to state my occupation, I need to be obviously a statesman like as possible. So for that, I think I really need uh, an Aaron Sorkin style speech and some soaring music to go underneath it. So here we go. I am the head of content. Where there is content, I am the head of it. The boss, the big cheese. But what kind of content? The most important kind there is. Languages. I write books, textbooks, so kids can learn how to speak other languages and connect with the world around them. I write songs to bring joy to their hearts, but also to revise their subjunctive. I design games so they can learn French instead of shooting each other on Fortnite. More than anything, I bring hope. Nelson Mandela once said, if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his own language, that goes to his heart. And that, that's what I do. That is my occupation. Oh no, um, there's a second part to this task I've just received. Um, oh, this is not good. This is not good. I have horribly misunderstood what was required for task five. You know what, I'm recording this as I've just received it because this just sums up me in general. Task 5.2, fucking shocker. I'm so annoyed right now. Don't say you knew it was coming. I didn't know it was coming. I never do. Describe your occupation to the taskmaster without using any letters that appear in the word taskmaster or using the word or any derivatives of the words of my job. If the taskmaster guesses your occupation, you get five points. If he's close, you get three. If he fails to guess, you get zero. The taskmaster will only have one guess. Okay, um, I feel pretty silly now. All you had to do was state your occupation, Zoe. Okay, um, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> right, statesman like as possible. So for that, I think I really need uh, an Aaron Sorkin style speech and some soaring music to go underneath it. So here we go. I am the head of content. Where there is content, I am the head of it. The boss, the big cheese. But what kind of content? The most important kind there is. Languages. I write books, textbooks, so kids can learn how to speak other languages and connect with the world around them. I write songs to bring joy to their hearts, but also to revise their subjunctive. I design games so they can learn French instead of shooting each other on Fortnite. More than anything, I bring hope. Nelson Mandela once said, if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his own language, that goes to his heart. And that, that's what I do. That is my occupation. Oh no, um, there's a second part to this task I've just received. Um, oh, this is not good. This is not good. I have horribly misunderstood what was required for task five. You know what, I'm recording this as I've just received it because this just sums up me in general. Task 5.2, fucking shocker. I'm so annoyed right now. Don't say you knew it was coming. I didn't know it was coming. I never do. Describe your occupation to the taskmaster without using any letters that appear in the word taskmaster or using the word or any derivatives of the words of my job. If the taskmaster guesses your occupation, you get five points. If he's close, you get three. If he fails to guess, you get zero. The taskmaster will only have one guess. 
Okay, um, I feel pretty silly now. All you had to do was state your occupation, Zoe. Okay, um, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> right. Right, so Charlie, pressure's on you. How are you feeling? Um, a little, a little nervous. <laughs> As you just reminded me about the animal task and then, <laughs> and then put me down about it. Um, luckily, I'm very confident with occupations. You name any. I can name, I can name you an name, occupation name, now. Name five, go. Uh, doctor, soldier, um, actor, upholstery person, <laughs> upholsteryist, <laughs> driving Let's see how he does, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with Zoe. Sorry. Okay, here's my description. <laughs> Good luck to the taskmaster. Okay. I build web book n- melody fun for children learning French or German. Three word, word one, bonce or noggin. Word three, inner filling. <laughs> so what do you think it is? <laughs> well, I, I didn't have a clue from any of that. Well, first I thought web designer... But then I know she mentioned earlier that she writes songs, so I'm going to say a children's songwriter. Children's songwriter. Let's see if you're right. I am the head of content. Head of content. Mm-hmm. Um, which, unfortunately, you didn't guess. No. Kind of a little bit of what she does. Does You did talk about it and mention it, but you didn't mm. end up being your final guess. Mm. So I apologise, Zoe. It's zero point. Uh, who would you like to listen to next? Uh, Fiona. Hi, EFH. Hi, kid. 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 Now, pi, x by y, inch. Quiz. Ding. Lunch. I want to say maths teacher. I am a high school maths teacher. Five points yes. there. Well done, Fiona. I'm happy that I've got at least one. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to hear next? Uh, let's go with Sophie. No doing fulfilling job CV. Work sort of in recruitment. Like, yeah, recruitment. I am a history graduate who tries to keep her days busy with sending out CVs and applying to jobs while playing with my cat. No, she's unemployed. She's a history major. Oh, uh, okay. So, unfortunately, she has no job currently. Uh Who would you like to hear next? Uh, Carter. Here goes nothing. (laughs) I know go job. How? I go in building of big bunch young, hoping of picking job if do good. I hoping I will do good. You go by giving bulk coin. I'm going to say they are unemployed and go to the job centre. So, I don't currently have a job, but I am a student, so... I, I think that's five points. Their job role is they are unemployed. Yeah, yeah. Right, and finally, we have got Casey. Now, before we do this, I feel Casey would be somebody kind of like a... What's the word? I don't think it necessarily is a job. I would say life coach. A life coach? Like a life coach, but, you know, because she's always dead happy. Like, somebody to bring you up. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a life she coach. She is... A happy person. I've met her on the podcast. Yeah. And she is a very lovely person. Yeah. Very friendly yeah. and chatty and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I think she lo- would love the idea of you calling her a life coach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not saying that everyone else isn't, but she is just very, yeah, very like happy and upbeat. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's see what she's got. Oh, I'd like to start with Casey and say, you would have thought she would have known or thought this was coming because she attempted a similar thing last um, ser- series with the animals. Mm. But yet completely forgot this series about it and thought that it wouldn't be a trick in the occupation. <laughs> now, let's keep it simple. Up of by. Thank you. Up of by. Uh, like operation, buying a buyer. Like, no, that's not a good, that's not a job. Well, a buyer is a job. Op, say it again. Up of by. Up of by. See, I'm thinking of something like operations... Something in operations, but I say had a buyer. I am a salesperson. Opposite uh, of buys. Ah, uh, okay. Sales. Okay. Um, I'd like to give her two points for that. Two points. She shouldn't be. Yeah, that was my okay. stupidity. We have got a winner. Da, 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 da. 
Right, so we've got a winner now. Would we like to go straight into the winner, or should we just no, let's keep them on the edge of the seats? Let's keep them on the edge of the seats. Yeah. This time I'm next then. year, we're going to do our last announce the winner. So keep tuning. No, next e- next episode, let's announce the winner. No, we won't. Yeah, no, we'll answer this one. Um, um, I think we should start. Shall we go last? We'll do last place. Fourth, third, and then do first and then second. <laughs> Last, third, fourth. No, no. Sorry, last, fourth, third, first, and second. Okay, so announce the second person last. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. In last place with seven points is Sophie. Thank you, Charlie. Well done. Well done, Sophie. In joint third place, because there'll be no fourth place if I'm right in saying this, um, is Zoe and Casey. Just two claps well done, Zoe. In Casey. second place is Carter. Well done, Carter. And to announce the winner of this episode is the Taskmaster producer himself, Andy Cartwright. Yes, hello there, and whoops. I feel very honoured to be asked to announce the winner of episode three of the No Format Required podcast. I've been practising my big paws especially, and the winner is... The lyrical and musical genius that is Fiona! Well done, Fiona. Yes. Yes. The winner well of the Taskmaster episode three. You have got your name in the Hall of Fame of no format required Taskmaster winners. You are now free to enter the Champions of Champions alongside Wikipuff88 and Carmat. So well, well done. Good Join the prestigious two. Yes. Make free. But well done to everybody. So yeah. Good. Very good efforts, and yeah, obviously taking the time out of your busy schedules. Yeah, we thank everyone who does yeah. this. Like, if anyone feels insulted or anything by anything Charlie says, <laughs> by anything, any points he may give you, <laughs> don't take it personally. Just remember that he doesn't know any animals. No, I don't. Um, I don't know. <laughs> animals are not a strong suit. So, any future task for anybody listening that might do a future task, which don't involve an animal, <laughs> unless well. Yeah, just, unless just it's just a cat or dog. Yeah, yeah, I know cats and dogs. Yeah, okay. um, but also no, we do we genuinely do appreciate you all taking your time out to yeah. do this. So yeah, thank you, five, and everyone who'd previously done it. So thank you all. Um, right, should we end the episode here? And well, obviously it's the end of the episode. So yeah. why wouldn't we end the episode here? <laughs> Let's wait ten minutes and then end it. <laughs> all right, see you in ten minutes, guys. See you in ten minutes. One elephant, two elephant. Right. Um, no, thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Goodbye. I won. I won. Yay. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Thanks for everything, guys. And thank you for the competition. Bye.